Today I'm going over a new poll released by Insider Advantage for the state of Michigan, which shows Donald Trump leading Kamala Harris by one point in the first battleground state poll after the presidential debate. So in this poll, Donald Trump has 49% of the vote, Kamala Harris has 48% of the vote. And the poll is conducted by Insider Advantage of a survey of about 800 registered likely voters, and it shows Trump would lead a one-point lead over Kamala Harris in the state of Michigan. The survey was conducted from September 11th through midday of September 12th. The data collection was by cell slash text and is weighted for age, race, gender, and political affiliation. The poll has a margin of error of 3.7%. And one more time, the results were Trump 49, Harris 48, other one undecided too. So what's to make from this poll? Well, for one thing, this is one of the first polls we've seen in Michigan in a while that has Trump leading actually. Uh, the Michigan polls average has been getting closer, but Harris has had at least a one-point lead for a while now. Now it's gone under one point. Trump is up by one point in this poll. As the poll mentions, a margin of error of 3.7%. So this race is definitely still very, very close, still a tie. And just going into the battleground states itself, Michigan right now in the polling average, Harris is 48.2%. Trump is 47.3, so Harris on average is up by 0.9. And when we go into Michigan itself, you'll see recently that uh, for a while, like I said, Harris has been up for a decent amount of time. There was a epic MRA poll a few weeks ago that had Trump up by one. There was a CBS News poll that had Harris up by one. And now an Insider Advantage poll that has Trump up by one. So what is this showing? Well, I think unless there's a sign of more polls in the future showing Trump up. I still think Harris has a narrow lead in the state of Michigan. And it's, it's not that I don't trust the poll. I do think the poll is good because apparently I was, I read a thing on X that said insider advantage was not too accurate in 2022 in the state of Michigan, but was in 2020. So in terms of how reliable the poll is, I'm not really sure there's too much to go off of there, but 49-48, uh, you know, Trump's pretty much right in line with where he's been in a lot of recent polls. The past CBS News poll had Harris up one. This one has Trump up one. Trafalgar had it at a tie. The Hill Emerson had Harris up three. I personally think right now Michigan is somewhere probably between like Harris up one and a half points is where I think the margin is probably right now. Uh, but it's interesting. This poll is definitely interesting. It's the first swing state poll taken after the debate, and it shows a Trump lead. Now, granted, it's not like a major news organization like CBS or NBC or Fox or New York Times or something. It is insider advantage, but still, it's an interesting result nonetheless. And just really quick, we're going to go to the electoral map right now, where Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz have 226, Donald Trump and J.D. Vance have 219. Michigan is a state now that uh, it's the most Democratic of the three, historically, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania. Although, when you go back to the polling and the battlegrounds, actually, Michigan's margin of a Harris lead right now is actually smaller than than uh, Wisconsin's. Excuse me. Wisconsin is at 1.8 for Harris. Michigan is at 0 0.9. So, could this be a potential sign that maybe, instead of Michigan being the one that's been pretty much, yeah, we know Harris is going to win it, is Wisconsin actually now the state we know Harris is going to win, and Michigan could be a toss-up. Just for the hypothetical, let's give Wisconsin to Harris. Let's give the state of Michigan to Donald Trump. This puts Harris and Waltz right now at 236, Trump and Vance at 234, almost a tie in the Electoral College. Now we start going through the states. Let's say, let's go off the polls right now, just really quickly. North Carolina and Georgia, Trump is narrowly leading in those two states. So let's give him North Carolina. Let's give the state of Georgia to Trump. That gets him to 266. Now let's go through the ones really quickly and just see where Harris and Waltz are up. Right now, Nevada is up for Harris and Wisconsin is up for Harris. So I already gave her Wisconsin. Let's just give her Nevada really quickly. So Nevada's 242. Trump Vance is at 266. And when you just saw the poll, I might spoil it briefly, Trump is up by 1.6% in the state of Arizona right now. So if we give Trump the state of Arizona, if he was able to win the state of Michigan, Trump gets to 277. Trump actually wins the election without winning the state of Pennsylvania, which if you look at the polling data right now, 
Pennsylvania is an exact tie in the polls, as has been for the last few days and I believe even a week now, Pennsylvania has been tied in the polls. So it's really, really interesting. Like I've been saying for a pretty much a long time now, this race is very, very close. It's going to come down to, I think, a squeaker in the Electoral College. In the state of Michigan, if it does go for Harrison Wall, or if it does go for Trump, excuse me, I think Trump's chances of winning probably go up. Because if he's winning Michigan, I think there's a pretty good bet to make Trump is probably winning Pennsylvania. And even though Wisconsin is bluer than both of them, I do think Trump winning Wisconsin is certainly in play if he is then winning Michigan. If, however, Wisconsin does go blue and Michigan also goes blue, Trump can still win if he can win the state of Pennsylvania. If he can't win the state of Pennsylvania and Harrison Waltz win it, then it's 276, 262. Trump really doesn't have a pathway uh, to winning without one of those three states. Unless Trump can do something unlikely like win the state of Nevada and then pick off another state that Harris is likely to win, like New Mexico or New Hampshire or Virginia or something. But it's interesting. The state of Michigan... You know, I it's not I haven't written it off because it is definitely a swing state, but I think it's definitely been trending Harris lately, and now it's seen in the last week that maybe it's starting to trend slowly back towards Trump. Maybe this poll is a sign of that. Maybe this is just an outlier poll. We're gonna have to wait and see. But that'll do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a like, click subscribe, share with your friends and family. Stay tuned because I'll be posting a video now every day leading up to election day. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you in a future video.